out of the featherweights uh, that are in the top ten right now in the UFC, uh, who are some of the guys that you might have your eye on that if you were to defeat them impressively that the UFC would take notice and grant you a title shot? Um, you know, I... There's a lot of guys that's up, in, that's up there. I mean, obviously, you got to look at the, the top guys. If you be any of those, like a Chad Mendez or, uh, you know, um, um, a guy like that, then right away, if you be a guy, because beating a guy like that puts you pretty much in uh, the top level. So, I mean, there's a few, you know, the zombie. The zombie's really uh, is, is one of those fighters that you beat that uh, everybody's really been impressed to fight. He can, uh, he can buff you up quicker, but... Do I, do I really know which fighter I'd fight? No, but I mean, those are the type of fighters they're going to have to beat to get the, the top contention for the title. They're going to have to beat a fighter like that to get a title fight. As a featherweight that is climbing up the ranks right now in the UFC, uh, does it, to an extent, upset you when you see a fighter, uh, a notable fighter like Frankie Edgar, drop down from a different weight class and is granted an immediate title shot, therefore kind of halting the entire division from being able to move forward? Uh, you know, it's a situation that, you know, I can understand. I mean, he's coming, yeah, he, he's coming off losses, but he's coming off as, a, as a, the champion at 155. So it wasn't like he just came out and, you know, he lost a couple of fights, he drops down, then he then he gets a title shot. Frankie, he's a tough competitor, and each fight that he lost, it wasn't like it was a, Without even the last fight, that was a close fight. So I can understand where they're coming from. Was it a little upsetting? Sometimes, but he's he's been around for a while. He's definitely earned uh, earned the respect of everybody, and uh, I think he's deserving. I think that'll be a great fight to watch. Yeah, no doubt should be an interesting fight there, Edgar and Aldo, when it goes down. Uh, in conversation here with Darren Elkins. Now, Darren, you're coming off a big victory over Diego Brandao. Here's a guy who won the Ultimate Fighter, uh, was was coming off that show with a lot of hype, and uh, you were able to silence him getting that three-round decision victory. Um, how big was that fight? Where do you rank that victory among uh, all, all of your wins in your career? Uh, I think, you know... Looking, looking at, it, I think it's probably my my biggest win. You know, uh, it's later. I had a good performance. I thought overall, I had to get through it. Like you said, there was a lot of hype behind it. Um, it was definitely a big fight. There was a lot of uh, a lot of people thought he was going to be the next big thing off the bat. I felt like uh, knocking him off, I could take some of that hype. So it was definitely a huge fight for me, and uh, it was probably my biggest fight to date so far. Now coming up uh, on this fight here, November 17th uh, in Montreal, uh, you're coming from the United States, Steven Seiler coming from the United States, so no hometown favorite here. Um, who do you think the crowd will be will be siding with? Who, who do you think uh, the crowd will be cheering for? And, and are you going to do something maybe special to get the, the, the Montreal crowd on your side? Uh, you know, I'm not sure who the, who the crowd's going to be cheering for. Um... I think it's just going to be kind of one of those fights that uh, both both the guys hope it's a fun fight to watch. To watch, and uh, we kind of I kind of swing the the crowd in my favor as the fight goes on. And as far as uh, your training camp uh, for this fight, who are some of the people that that have been helping you uh, gear up to this one? Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear you. Can you say it one more time. Yeah, as far as uh, your camp and and your training, who are some of the people that that have been helping you uh, on the road to this fight? I'm sorry, I'm having a little trouble hearing you. All right, can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you better now. All right, as I was just asking you about the training camp and uh, and who are some of the people that have been helping you for this fight? Um, I'm uh, our training camp's been going good. Um, I'm training with Dumlin Rautudo. Um, it's out of Hobart, Indiana. I got uh, like uh, Josh. I think he used to fight for Bellator. Um. I got a bunch of other up and comer fighters. Keith Anuski, he's he's uh he's one of the coaches. He fights for the UFC. Um, his brother uh, Justin Anuski, he's one of my coaches there. He's uh they've both been helping me a lot there. And I also train at uh, Team Cologne. It's in Merva, Indiana, with Steve uh, Steve Cologne and uh, got a lot of good looks. And I also train at another gym. 
sometimes calls me Gracie. Between the three gems, it's a great mix, and I get a, I get a great look and a lot of different uh, a lot of different practice partners. And I know they got you ready for the fight. Uh, you know, we see you in the UFC, very consistent, uh, big victories, doing very well for yourself right now in the featherweight division. Uh, Darren, uh, just before we let you go, we do ten questions, uh, rapid fire. I ask you one or the other, and you give me your answer. Okay. All right. So first question, pizza or burgers? Pizza. Brittany or Ariani? Uh, Brittany. Facebook or Twitter? Facebook. Pacquiao or Mayweather? Uh, Pacquiao. Coke or Pepsi? Uh, say that again. Coke or Pepsi? Uh, I don't drink pop. If I had to drink one, I guess it'd be Coke. All right. John Jones or Chael Sonnen? Uh, John Jones. Mac or PC? Uh, PC. Dana or Lorenzo? Uh, Dana. David Letterman or Jay Leno? Uh, Leno. And Frankie Edgar or Jose Aldo? Uh, Frankie. All right, there he is. Darren Elkin, UFC 154, November 17th at the Bell Center right here in Montreal versus Steven Seiler. It's going to be a great fight. Uh, Darren, thank you very much for joining us, and good luck on November 17th. Thank you. I appreciate it. Had a good time on the show.